This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is a math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about algebra word problems. So, I have five important steps that you need to follow when solving algebra word problems. And if you follow these five steps, you're sure that you will get the right answer every time. The first step is to read the problem. You need to understand what the problem is asking for and underline any key words that you see in the problem. The second step is to identify known and unknown values. So the known values you can write down to use in your problem, the unknown values will represent your variable. Like for example, x would be unknown value. The third step is to set up an algebraic equation, you know, based on the known and unknown values from step two. And then number four, step four, is to solve the equation for the unknown variable. And then last but not least is step five. You want to check your solution and make sure that it um, makes sense. So those are the five important steps to solving algebra word problems. So let's look at a couple examples we have here over to the side. So the first problem says the sum of two numbers is 24. One of the numbers is 8 find the other number. Okay, so we already did the first step in reading the problem and now we can underline keywords. So we see sum is here so we know there's going to be addition involved and then there's is so that's equals and we know that there's going to be two numbers and one of those numbers is 8. So we know that we're going to have two numbers. So we'll have one number we do not know, which we'll call x, and then plus, since we're adding with sum, the other number has to be 8. And then we know is, sum of those two numbers is equals 24. And now we can, um, now that we've done the step three with setting up the algebraic equation and also with step two, knowing our known and unknown values, we know eight is one number, the unknown number is x, and so we're solving for x in your equation. And then with step four, that's what we're doing, solve the equation. And so to get x by itself, we need to get the eight to the other side. So in order to do that, we're going to, if we're adding 8, we do the opposite operation. We'd be subtract 8 to both sides. And then notice that the 8's cancel out. And then we have x equals um, 24 minus 8 is 16. So there's our answer x equals 16 and to check just to make sure that our answer makes sense we see that 16 and then we add that to 8 we get 24 and 6 plus 8 is 14 carry the 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so we get 24 so it does check out okay so now for our next problem, we have uh, yesterday's temperature dropped 6.5 degrees and it is 77.2 degrees today. What was yesterday's temperature? So we know that we have a drop of 6.5 degrees. So drop would kind of indicate subtraction because it's decreasing and then it is now 77.2 degrees today. And so we want to find out yesterday's temperature. Okay, so to set up the equation, 
we let T will be for the unknown temperature from yesterday and we know that it dropped 6.5 degrees so we'll, we'll take away 6.5 degrees and we know that if yesterday's temperature minus 6.5 degrees that has to equal right it is so it is equal 77.2 degrees So yesterday's temperature minus 6.5 degrees because it dropped 6.5 degrees will give us to today's temperature which is 77.2 degrees. And so we need to solve for the equation. And so to get the 6.5 to the other side we see subtraction. So we do the opposite operation and we're going to add 6.5 to both sides. 6.5 and then we line up our digits when we add the decimals so the 6.5s will cancel so we're gonna have T equals um, let's see here 2 plus 5 is 7 and then 7 plus 6 is 13 carry the 1 and then we have 1 plus 7 is 8 so we have 83.7 so yesterday's temperature was 83.7 degrees so now I have a couple of problems for you to try on your own So the first one says Chris has to run a total of 26.2 miles for the marathon race. He ran 17.4 miles. How many miles does Chris have left to run in the marathon? And the second problem says the school surveyed 350 students to see who likes chocolate. 90% of the students like chocolate. How many students do not like chocolate? So I'll give you a chance to um, work on these two problems. Feel free to um, pause um, the video while working on these two problems. And also feel free to rewind the video to see the five steps in the problem solving process. And then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. Well, the first problem says that Chris has to run a total of 26.2 miles for the marathon race. He ran 17.4 miles as far. How many miles does Chris have to run in the marathon? Okay, so we know that he has a total of 26.2 miles and we know that 17.4 he has run so far so so 17.4 and we have to add plus unknown number we can use um, D for distance and then that's going to equal the total amount of miles so he had 26 point two mouse now you can use any letter you like um, I just chose D because that represents distance so you could have used M you know because it's for miles you could have done X um, you could have used any letter you like the important thing is is how you set up the equation and if you set up the equation right um, doesn't really matter what letter you use you'll get the uh, the same answer so to solve for D we're going to subtract 17.4 to 
both sides. And these 17.4s cancel, so we'll have D equals, and we subtract 26.2 minus 17.4, so we have to borrow 5 and the 12 is 8. Then we have to borrow one more time, then with 1, and then this becomes 15, so that's going to be 8, 8.8. .8. So Chris has 8.8 .8 miles left in the marathon to run. Okay, so the second problem says the school surveyed 350 students to see who liked chocolate. 90% of the students like chocolate. How many students do not like chocolate? So we know that 90% of the students like chocolate. So we know 100% is total for all the students. And so if we subtract 90% from the 100%, we'll get 10% of the students that do not like chocolate. And so the way we set up this equation is, is that we could do a, a ratio or a proportion. So we'll do the 10% or 10 out of 100. And then that's going to equal how many students did not like chocolate. And so we'll, we'll do S for students out of the total for 100% would be 350 students. And so to solve for S, we're going to cross multiply. And so we get 10 times 350. Equals 100 times S is 100S. And then 10 times 350 is 35, and then we have, to have two zeros, so that's 3,500, or 3,500, equals 100s. And then we divide by 100 to both sides. And then these two zeros, they'll cancel. It's two here. So it looks like s equals 3,500 divided by 100 gives you 35. So at 35 students. We have 35 students who do not like chocolate. So uh, these are the answers to the two problems. And if you got them right, great job. This is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on algebra word problems. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.